Yeah, hey Todd, yesterday I had a lot of messages from people asking, you know, how come you're calling this a nor'easter even though we're not expecting snow? Well, this is pretty much the classic nor'easter track, so to speak, and if it were the winter time, we would be talking about snow, but it's early enough in the fall that this one will not produce snow. Here's why we're calling it a nor'easter. The original storm out over the Great Lakes, another storm coming up from the south, and they basically merge right to our south into this big storm in the Gulf of Maine. And it's called a nor'easter, not because of the rain or snow it produces, but because of the strong wind that comes from the northeast. And depending on the track, that puts Maine right in that area of northeast winds Wednesday night into the first part of Thursday. Now, as the storm cuts through the state, it's possible, especially down east, sees a bit more of a southeast wind, but we can call this one a nor'easter because it has that classic look and track to it. As far as what we're expecting, a sneak peek, the worst midnight Wednesday through about noontime Thursday, and because of those strong winds so early in the fall, we still have leaves on the trees and it may take a little bit less wind to actually cause power outages. Usually we're concerned around 55, 60 miles per hour in gusts. We may get some outages with a 45 or 50 mile per hour gust because of those leaves on the trees. And another concern for Thursday morning's commute, all of those leaves coming off the trees, clogging up the storm drains, it may lead to some street flooding. Thursday morning. So yes, it is a nor'easter, even though it's not snow and Todd will have the timeline and a lot more on that coming up in just